36 meals to cover six weeks in your freezer, no cooking, homemade, delicious, nutritious. If you're here for it, that's what you're gonna get. My name is Liana and this is Feeder Tribe. Okay, so I wanted to make 36 meals to cover me and my family. We have 12 people in our house for six weeks. We have a deep freezer, we have a side freezer, we have a top freezer. So I know I can fit about six weeks worth of meals in all of those. So in this lead up to quite a busy time, actually it's already quite a busy time. This year's a bit funny, isn't it? Uh, I, I just wanted, I haven't had any meals in the freezer for a long time. So just as I thought, hey, I want to freeze six weeks worth of meals for my family, a deal came up on the Woolworths Rewards app where for any meat I purchase, I was going to get 10 times the points. With the meat I've bought, that equals about $35 worth of Woolworths rewards points. Now if you're familiar with the app you know that what it means is that you earn points on groceries purchased and that goes towards either spending on another shop or saving towards your Christmas shop. I always save my points for my Christmas shop. I find it incredibly exciting to do a big shop and then not have to pay for most of it. So even though all the meat I purchased cost me a lot of money and only equals an extra, say, $35 towards Christmas. I figure I'm going to do it anyway, aren't I? I wanted to do the freezer meal prep and I'm buying bulk anyway and I got things that were on sale anyway. And so in addition to that, I'm getting $35 extra towards my Christmas shop, so that's exciting. And that was a sign to me that, yes, I definitely have to do my six weeks worth of freezer meal prep. So before we get into the freezer meal prep, I'm going to show you exactly what I got. I might leave a list here of what I'm making. That might be a good idea. Do that, Liana. Okay, so I got Chuck Slow Cook Beef and I got five packets of that. That's for a beef stew. I'm making three of each meal. Then I got a lot of bacon. And that's probably for two different types of meals. So for a total of six meals for 12 people. Lamb offcuts. The lamb four quarter chops seem to be extra expensive at the moment. So I just got the offcuts because there's always lots of meat on them. They have lots of flavor and the bones are all there. So they're still wonderful for lamb stew. So that's for three times lamb stew. Just looking at it, I might just make two, but I might also have some lamb already in the freezer. So we'll see. I got chicken thighs for two separate meals, I believe. So this huge amount, which is a total of about six kilo, is for six meals in total. Then I got nine kilograms of minced beef. That is for a total, total of nine meals. Then I've got three pork shoulders. That's just gonna be for pulled pork when you're ready to put it in the slow cooker. I thaw it out for a good probably 36 hours in the fridge then throw it in the slow cooker and it's amazing. And then one, two, three, four, five chickens. And they were a fantastic price, they were on special. So each chicken was about $8 each. And I'm going to be using, I believe three of them are for one particular meal, like a curry, and I'm just going to chop it up and use it because it's cheaper than buying thighs or breasts. And then the other two, it might all be for freezer meal prep, it's possible I got another two just to roast sometime this week for fun. I can't remember. I'll let you know. And then other ingredients I needed. And keep in mind, I might have a few ingredients already. Lasagna sheets. They're just the dry lasagna sheets. I got some more of these foil baking trays. Now, I have a tiny, tiny oven. However, these, I can fit ones that are much bigger than this in. But the size up from this was just a tiny bit too big for my oven. So I'm going to have to use two of these per meal. I already own some baking trays. I just got a few extra packs just to tie me over. 
mushrooms, lots and lots of mushrooms. I think a kilo and a half. Frozen vegetables. Now, particularly for slow cooker freezer meals that you're just dumping the, everything into a bag and then freezing it, these are already frozen. I mean, and they're snap frozen, full of nutrition, a great price usually. So two kilo of uh, winter veg mix, kilo all up of sliced capsicum, and then pre-diced frozen onion. This makes life so much easier. So if you can justify this in your budget, I really recommend it, it's wonderful. And then I've already got one cabbage in my fridge. I need three. These are huge though, I might only need these two and I'll use the other one for a salad or something. That's for three meals. Two blocks of cheese, that's for when I make, did you guess, lasagna. Six tubs of sour cream, some curry powder. Six bottles of passata sauce. Six tins of coconut milk. Six tins of tomatoes. Now, these are the 800 gram tins. I would have needed 12 tins of the smaller ones. And then nine jars of tomato paste. So I'm going to do this meal preparation in two stages over two separate days. Excuse any noisy children in the background. Later in the week, I'm going to shop for the remainder of the meals and finish them on that second day of freezer meal prep. So I actually got, as you saw, nine kilograms of minced beef. That is for nine separate meals. I like to, even though we've got 12 people, I just use one kilo per meal usually and stretch it out with a sauce. I'm first of all cooking up all of the mince and then dividing it. Two thirds is going to go towards a bolognese sauce that will then be divided again into two Half of it will be frozen just as a pre-made bolognese sauce to go with pasta. The other half is then going to be used for lasagnas. And then they will be frozen. Then the other third of the mince beef is going to be used for chow mein. I have a recipe on that, I have a recipe on lasagna, and I have a recipe on the spaghetti bolognese. So, if you go to my recipes playlist, and I'll link it, uh, you will find all of those and past freezer meal prep videos. So let's get cooking. Do I have a pot big enough for bolognese sauce for six meals? I don't know. I might have to actually do it in two pots and that'll be okay. But currently I've got, and yes, I need just bigger everything, I think. But currently I've got two kilogram of the mince here. And then when it's cooked, I'm going to transfer it to this massive bowl that I got at Ikea if anyone's interested. And then, I've got another seven kilograms of mince to cook up. So I'm just doing it in batches while I have my coffee and it will all get done. Okay, I've done some transferring. So I have all the bolognese sauce ready to make the lasagnas in, but I need to make the white sauce for the lasagna. So I have emptied this pot to make the white sauce in, because I'm making enough for three batches, of course. I put all of this bolognese sauce, which is for three meals with spaghetti in here to cool down, and then I'll freeze it. And then the mince for the chow mein I have transferred to another bowl. And once I've done the white sauce, I'll get on to doing that. I need to chop up all of these cabbages, which is pretty much the main ingredient of my chow mein.
All right, so I'm going to put these lasagnas together, but these are really quite small, as you can see. So, I actually need to use three for one meal for our family. I used to use two, but I think we're just a bit beyond that now. So, I've actually got nine of these freezer trays ready for three meals of lasagna, and I'll put them together now. Jack has put all of those lasagnas in the deep freezer, excuse the movie noises in the background, and this is the bolognese sauce. I've got two in bags, ready to freeze, and this one we're going to actually have tonight. Executive decision, spaghetti bolognese. <music> Charming, all cooked up. Now, this is, as I said, the, an IKEA bowl. It's really big. I'll find out how big it is and I'll, I'll let you know here. I have three trays. This one, food's been falling in it. I have a, um, uh, Daniel down there is helping me pack up the pasta that I dropped. <laughs> um, I might have to use two trays per meal. Just these are bigger than the ones I use for the lasagna, but they're still on the smaller side because I have a small oven. Um, so I'm going to put all of that in these. We may need to use more trays, that'll be fine.
lots of penny royal chicken ready for the freezer and then I'll just pop these in the slow cooker and cook pasta on the side. This is a recipe of mine. It is on my channel if you look up penny royal chicken um, and feed a tribe. And I'll also link it down below obviously because that makes sense. It's now Monday, so I'm going to finish these few meals. So I ordered enough pork for three separate meals, but this one, you know, as I said, it's a funny shape. It's really long. I actually don't think I've got a snap lock bag big enough. It's okay, baby girl. You're okay. Oh, so can, um, Isaac, now, can you pick her bread up for her? Her Vegemite bread. Thank you. She's dropped it all. Can you do that for her? But, 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 but. Thank you, darling. So, I'm going to put this in the slow cooker today. And we don't have sides for this yet, but I'm doing the shop on Wednesday. It'll arrive on Thursday. So, we will enjoy this. I will cook it for the second time in the oven, probably, or fry it up on Thursday. We'll have it on Thursday. So, I'm going to put this in the slow cooker today because I can't really fit it in a snap lock bag. These two are going to be frozen. So, three meals. We'll enjoy one this week though. Thank you. Um, onion and lemon and salt and pepper and garlic. Pork. Sorry, it's all action in this kitchen at the moment. It is Monday, so Anthony's at work. Oh, so <laughs> it's lunchtime. It's baby whingy time. It is. Uh, yeah, Jackson. Jack's dishing up lunch. And it's school, a Can school day, obviously, it? so we're trying to get schoolwork done. And I'm trying to finish this off, so yay! Woo! I ordered mugs not too long ago, and they didn't survive very long. So I've got 18 mugs all up, and I really like these ones. Oops! They're from, they're all from Target Australia. If any of my Aussie subscribers are interested, and those ones look like that. Quite nice. They're all, they're big. That's the important thing. And I'll see you when I've done the next shop for freezer meal prep day two. Thank you so much for joining me. You take care. Bye bye. It's smelling good. It's Australia. Oh, I'm pretty sure I heard Dan Andrew say Australia. <laughs> All Australians. If uh, Dan Andrew says it. <laughs>
And look, look, you can pick, it, pick apart everything I say and how I pronounce it. But the fact is, I'm doing what I know to be right. Uh, you insulted me by putting crumbs on the bench for crying out loud.